or given that so it is given that this is fx and f4 is equal to 13 so this is function f this is function f just the object is 4 so we see here fx is equal to 2x plus h over x minus 3 so we know when we change x here when we change x everything else uh, uh, with x will be changed to the, the value we change so here we have f4 so f4 so we can see that we change x to 4 so everything with x will change to 4 so here we get 2 4 plus h over this one is 4 minus 3 and then it, we know that f4 is equal to 13 so 13 so here we get 2 times 4 is 8 plus h 4 minus 3 is 1 is equal to 13 so h is equal to 13 minus 8 so 8 will be going to the back so here we get 5 now h is equal to 5 okay a is done so this one is 5 so b find f inverse 3 so before we can get f inverse 3 we must find f inverse x first this is the first step so how to find f inverse so there is only two way so you make equal to y then second you find x after that you will get f inverse y so you can just do f inverse x so make equal to y and then you just find x so for b before you can get 1 2 3 you must know what is fx so we know that h is equal to 5 so fx is equal to 2x plus 5 divided by x minus 3 now you have fx so you see here make equal to y find x so make equal to y find x so 2x plus 5 over x minus 3 is equal to y now you find x so here 2x plus 5 is equal to y x minus 3 so here we get x y minus 3 y and here 2x plus 5 now you want to find x so you bring x at one side so either here or here so here because this one is negative i want to bring it here so and here so here x y you bring 2x to the right so you we will get negative 2x is equal to so now you have 5 here and then you bring 3y to the left so you get 5 plus 3y so you can take out x this is y minus 2 is equal to 5 plus 3y then you get x is equal to 5 plus 3y over y minus 2 so now you get the x so x is equal to f negative inverse y which is equal to 5 plus 3y over y minus 2 so this is f negative y f inverse y so when you get to get f inverse x is equal to 5 plus 3x divided by x minus 2 now we get f inverse x so it wanted to find f inverse 3 so f inverse 3 so we know when we change everything with x in the equation we change x to this value we change so we get 5 plus 3 3 divided by x is 3 minus 2 so 5 plus 9 is 14 14 divided by 1 is 14 so see we know that f inverse x is equal to 5 plus 3x over x minus 2 so you see which is here this is f inverse x so what happened when f inverse m is equal to 2 so we know when this one is changed to m f inverse negative 1 m so here we get 5 plus 3 x will be changed to m divided by m minus 2 which is equal to 2 so 5 plus 3 m is equal to 2 m minus 2 so 5 plus 3 m is equal to 2 times m is 2 m 
2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So here we bring 2 to the left. So 3m minus 2m is m is equal to. So 5 we bring to the right. Now we get negative 4 minus 5. So we get negative 9. So the value of m when f inverse m is equal to 2. So m is equal to negative 9. So number 5. The inverse function h inverse is defined by this one. Find hx. So we know if this one is x and this y is y. So if this way is hx for example. So we know if it's going the another way around, we will get h inverse x. So, the inverse of h inverse. So, if this one is h inverse, then if we inverse back, then we will get hx. So, same way when we find inverse function, inverse function. So, how to find inverse function? There is two steps. Okay. So first, we make it equal to y, equal to y, then second, we find x. So actually, after we find x, then we will get f inverse y. So when we get f inverse y, we can just change to f inverse x. So for a... So, we can say that h inverse x is equal to 2 over 3 minus x. So, we see number 1 equal to y, find x. So, equal to y, 2 over 3 minus x is equal to y. Then, we find x. So, here we can see here. So, 2 over y is equal to 3 minus x. So, we wanted to find x. So, x is equal to so, x is equal to, we bring x to the left. So, we get x is equal to, and then we bring 2y to the right. So, we have 3 here. So, 3 minus 2 over y. So, we know this is h inverse. When we inverse the function, we will get h. So, instead of h inverse, because this is h inverse, after we inverse, we get h. This is hy, which is equal to 3 minus 2y. So, hx is equal to 3 minus 2 over x. So, so, B, the value of x such that hx is equal to 2. So, we know that hx is equal to 3 minus 2 over x. So, when hx is equal to 2, so this is hx. So, this one is equal to 2. So, we can find what is x. So here we see 3 minus 2 over x is equal to 2. So we want to find x. So we can bring x to the right. So we get 2 over x. So we only want x. So we bring 2 to the left. So here we have 3 minus 2. So 2 over x is equal to 1. So x is equal to. So here we change place. So 2 over 1 which is equal to 2.